You should do what you are comfortable with. If you look at a majority of the content creators out there that are somewhat popular to really popular, they're almost always just doing exactly what they want to do. Sometimes their styles are very similar to other content creators, and that's alright, I guess. I'm not going to judge. But I mean, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing if they didn't somewhat like it. Maybe it's the money. Maybe it's the money. That could be it too. Some people make a lot of money. Some people that aren't me make a lot of money. Help? No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm half kidding. It's always great to make money. I mean, it's, it's ne necessary to make money. It's a necessity. But, like, I don't like emphasizing the need to make money. Because this is just a hobby for me. I can't do this whole time, which is why there's, like, a limited amount of content, a limited amount of editing I can do, I guess. And especially, like, soon, uh, for Don't Starve. This is, the, my, this is my last Don't Starve run, my last playthrough for the foreseeable future. So I don't know what's going to happen after this entirely. I know that I'm going to do, like, base tours and stuff if I ever do play this game. Like, a lot. Which I probably won't. I'll play it somewhat. Uh, but, I don't know. We'll see what happens when the time comes. I want to focus more on other games. Like, Yokai Watch, I need to get on YouTube. Yokai Yo Watch is such a terrible game to stream, by the way. God, I hate the stupid audience that you get with Yokai Watch. Pokemon Sun and Moon Nuzlocke in November. That's going to be fun, I think. I hope it's going to be fun. I have fond memories of streaming Pokemon Nuzlocke, actually. Because quite a few people watched it, and they weren't like complete morons, like the Yokai Watch audience. 90% of them are. Because most of them are really young. It's a very young audience. And you can't really expect them to be mature. Uh, but yeah, Pokemon should be a bit better than that. I'm very excited for that. And then there's other games that I'm going to be playing in the interim. Owlboy's coming out in just a couple of weeks. November 1st, I think? I'm not going to play it until like November 2nd, 3rd week of November. Preferably even sooner than that, because like I want to play it, because it's so cool. It's such a good game graphically. It's a pixel game, so some people are like instantly, ah, it's a pixel game? How, are, how can you say the graphics are good if it's a pixel game? But if you look at the graphics, the art, I should say, I guess, the art direction and the art style, it's so detailed for pixel art. It's just so beautiful. The thing with uh, graphics is that you can't judge them based on like the way they look in terms of uh, whether or not it's like pixel or 3D or whatever. Just because it's 3D doesn't mean it's good. You can have 3D graphics that look terrible, or you can have pixel graphics that look amazing. Pixel art. It's not like a, a mutually exclusive thing where it's like, you know, it has to be good or bad based on what kind of art. I'm just gonna do this. Art itself is not good or bad, right? Detail is what really makes it good, I think. Detail and effort. What the? Another one? Holy crap, these stupid things. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm just like going off on tangents whenever I, I feel like it right now. The point is, there's nothing to do, so I'm just talking. It's better than me not talking, right? Uh, there's nothing to do except for cutting trees and clearing out this entire area. It's a very, very dense jungle. So there's a lot to do, and because there's no flooding, I'm actually free to just do this. I was going to leave the base, which is what I usually do during the season. I hate it when it floods, it's really irritating. Uh, but because the flooding just isn't happening near my base, it's, it's like all the way over here, then uh, yeah, I can just chill, I guess. This is what I do when I stream too, I just, I just chill and talk. Unless I'm really tired, but I'm actually feeling alright right now. 
Which is why I'm talking. A lot. Maybe too much. I'm very talkative right now. I get really talkative when I talk about things I'm passionate about, like games. And I love it when people talk to me about games. I hate it when people like try to talk about their own stuff when I'm streaming. Like it's okay to it's okay to chat with me. I love chatting with people. If you want to chat, that's great. But when you come onto the stream, it's like, hey, I got this rare thing today. Are you proud of me? If, if people are like that, that's not a conversation. That's just you bragging to someone who doesn't actually care. And that is a lot of snakes. Holy. That's going to hit me. That's going to hit me. Ow, 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 ow. People do that, though. So yeah, that's that's why it's frustrating to stream games like Yokai Watch. I like the game though. Actually, people, oh, man, I'm just going off like crazy right now. I'm talking too much. People just misunderstand the difference between liking a game and criticizing it, which is the main issue that like some people were talking about. Some people were saying when I was streaming Yokai Watch, I was saying how the game, the game was terrible, and it is. It's a terrible game from a design perspective, but it is a game that I enjoy playing. I enjoyed playing it. There's nothing else to it. You can enjoy a game that is terrible. There are so many games out there that are terrible, but you still enjoy it. It's like enjoying a terrible movie. Not to the point where it's like, you know, it's comedy. It could be like that. Some movies are just bad or generic or whatever, but you still like the movie anyway. Because it's okay to dislike something and still, I mean, it's okay to criticize something, understand that it's bad, but still enjoy it, right? Most people don't understand that at a younger age. Most people don't understand a lot of design aspects either. You need to play a lot of games and actually look at them analytically to actually get a get a foothold on you know what exactly is the game trying to do what is the purpose of the game and then there are people who still criticize it like uh like don't starve i criticize don't starve all the time i played it for like 2000 something hours i still criticize it i make fun of clay cappy and like their terrible patches their terrible bug fixes and the lack of bug fixes i do it all the time that's because i want the game to be better but that's that's just my opinion on it other people may not share that opinion, and if you do, that's great. If you don't, whatever. But like, it doesn't change the fact that someone has this kind of perspective on it, and whether or not they're an informed opinion, which is something that actually does matter, but that's not the point right now. Uh, I digress. That's not the point. It matters when people have an opinion in, at all. It matters if, if people just... Even bad criticism matters because somebody out there is giving this kind of criticism. Maybe they're trolling. Like some people just like trolling. If if you just like trolling then then you're an idiot. But the people who like don't that aren't trolling and they're like legitimately giving criticism based on their opinion. Wow, they actually picked up my little ball thing. Well, it's a perfect spot for it then. I'm just gonna leave it in here. Yeah, if people are serious about criticism, even if their opinion is not a good one, um, like it's still there, right? The opinion is still there, and then the developers or writers or whatever you are should actually think about it for a second. Like, why does this person have such a stupid opinion? Is what they should be saying. And it's like, oh, maybe, maybe there is a little bit of misunderstanding. And if you, like, I, I've been writing for a long time, but like I haven't published anything really major, but uh, the point is when you do workshopping, if you do creative writing and you do workshopping, and it, I still, like, there's, there's still times where criticism is it's like overwhelming for me, even though I've done this stuff f for many years now. Uh, oh damn, what should I do? I might just hang this so I can use it in the future. Uh, let's just talk about gameplay, I guess. When you hang this, okay, what you can do is you can either hang it or you can cook it. Cook it if you want to use it immediately, hang it if you want to use it later, and it ends up being the same in the very end. You can use it in the crock pot as a small meat, and 
you know, depending on when you can actually use it, when you, you plan on using it, uh, just choose the right one. Don't use small jerky in general. In general, you shouldn't eat small jerky because it's really terrible. It's better off as a morsel. You might as well eat the, the, the big, big jerky. What was I saying? Something about workshopping. Oh, when you actually experience workshopping, you'll realize that people have like so many different opinions on the things that you write that it's impossible to please everyone, first of all. And then second, you might have some really interesting opinions given to you by other people that you may not have considered at all. And sometimes when like multiple people have a certain opinion that may seem strange, you have to start questioning it. Like, why are so many people having the same reaction? It's like when people review a game as favor, like really favored, why are they favoring it? And then why are there like some people who don't favor it? On the other hand, like maybe one or two people like a game, but like 2,000 people hate the game. Why is that? It's not just, you know, because it's bad, you need to get used to answering the question why, and this is very, very important throughout like most of life, actually. When you when you understand the reason behind something to the best of your, your knowledge, uh, that's when you truly start understanding what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, because I'm just rambling on. I am bored out of my mind. But that doesn't mean I hate the game! I'm just bored out of my mind, because I didn't expect the season to be so slow. Or, like, uneventful, period. But I'm, I'm just going to leave the, the base really soon, because I'm almost done here with uh, clear-cutting and stuff like that. Okay, so that's five, and then I'll chop down three more big ones, and that'll, that'll be it for the next while. The inventory bug is so frustrating. Let's see, where are my trees? Those are my trees. I should clear this area. But the trees are all gone from there except for these two. I should still clear it though, because I need to put down the bee box. I will make this base great again. Well, I'm mean, not again. That's such a stupid slogan. Okay, I shouldn't talk about politics. I don't like talking about politics. I'd rather talk about it like a meme, because it basically is a meme by now. Okay, let's just... Okay, next topic. Cutting trees! 15 chops, big tree. 1% per axe use. 15% used. Dodge. Attack, attack, attack. Dead. Dodge. Attack, 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 attack. Attack, attack. Done. Would you rather I do that? I don't want to do that. I'm just really talkative right now, because... I don't know why I'm so talkative right now. It's not caffeine, because... I haven't had caffeine in months. Holy crap. I have never been on such a long caffeine drought. It's been, like, three months, I think. I'm just really hyper right now. Maybe it's because I ate something. That wasn't caffeinated, of course. Eating caffeine. Can you eat caffeine? You mean you can consume it, right? I'm talking too much. I don't know, maybe you guys can tell me. Would you rather I ramble on like this, 24-7, like an idiot? Or would you rather I talk when I have to talk, not when I just feel like it? Because I don't like talking in general. I'm a quiet person. Except right now, for some reason. Jeez, what's wrong with me right now? I mean, this is going to span over a couple episodes. It's a couple of days, actually, but it's, it's being recorded in one session. That's what you should know. Which is why a couple of these are going to be like this. And it's nighttime. I'm going to get out of here, actually. It's going to be an odd day. That's going to be a new episode. See? That's how I know. So I'm actually going to get out of here. Um, I'm just going to leave this stuff on the ground for now. I don't need this. The Hound Wave should be coming soon. What else do I need? I 
Do I need the pitchfork? Do I, do I, do I? I actually want to go through here and explore this area, but... Oh, I need the hammer, right. Hang on a second. Okay, I have the hammer. I need to drop this garbage, though. Damn, I just want to burn it all. I'll need to move the saplings really soon, because I'm, I'm actually running out of space. If I make more chests, will I actually be able to place them? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, cool, I can actually place it. So the lantern, I just hope I never pick up the lantern accidentally. Otherwise I'd have to waste more resources. One, two, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. We'll do this for now, I think this is enough. The lack of light on the bottom side, I should fix that. I need to place a buoy up there, and then pre-build one again. That's what I need to do right now. There's something that requires two logs, I think. I just seriously can't remember what it was. 